Hey, what's up guys? It's Bailey and welcome back to my channel. And for this video, if you guys can't tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest opinion about DMB Nation. Um, but before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Turn on the post notification so you know when a video is posted and follow all of my social media down below. Like I had said, this video is going to be about my thoughts on DMB Nation and I'm not making this video to start any drama or whatever i just want to like give my opinion as a person who watched their videos like i sat down and watched every single one of their reaction videos their vlogs everything i really grew to like them as youtubers i thought they were fun i loved their videos i thought they were like i really thought that they were like a great couple they seemed like they got along um they had two kids like they just seemed like the perfect couple to me and that I I love couples because like I just think that they're so cute but with all the stuff that's been going on and I will state that I don't know anymore I don't even know if it's worth me even subscribing to I don't know if it's even worth me giving them my views because they get money for the views and the comments and the likes and everything I don't know if it's worth me doing that anymore now when Damien had posted the video of him kind of discussing like their breakup and he broke down and he cried and stuff, I really felt for the dude. I really did. And I really didn't think any too much of it until things kind of started spiraling. And then we got Bianca's side of the story with her and the kids in a hotel. And then we got a video of them going to counseling. And then we got them moving back home and then we have the video of their wedding which was staged or like set up because at that after so many like after when things started adding up I stopped watching so I don't know if the wedding was real or not but like and then things just kind of started like still spiraling like then like uh they were like back together then they were married and like now they have a supposed hacker who I believe is their manager and the manager's daughter. Let me just say real quick that I'm, I love reality TV shows, I love drama movies and everything, but I feel like this whole entire thing is complete bullshit. I feel like it's so fake, it's so fabricated, it's so much fucking bullshit. To me, you have, like, they have over 2 million subscribers. You have over 2 million people who tune in and watch your videos every time you post them. Who are dedicated to your channel. Who love to watch you. Who support you. Everything. And then you're going to go and play them like this and make this long, drawn out motherfucking soap opera for views and for money. Like, I, I just don't get it. Like... I understand for being a YouTuber, being a content creator, which is something that I really want to do and that I'm working really hard to do, how you just do, like, did you run out of ideas, guys? Like, did you run out of ideas that you wanted to stir up some fucking bullshit and make, basically, D&B Nation a fucking soap opera? My mom and I used to watch soap operas when I was younger, and this is literally what it is. Like, they're literally breaking down every part of it for us, so we feel... Like, and it never, and it didn't make sense, because if the girl, like, if your girlfriend moved out and took the kids with you, why is it, like, less than two weeks later, y'all are getting hitched? Like, that doesn't make sense to me, because clearly if she left, y'all had problems that y'all should have worked on, and not ran and got married. And then what really kind of got me with this whole thing being really fake and set up was when they filmed inside the counseling session. Now again, I get it. Y'all are content creators. Y'all make videos and everything. And you put your lives out there. But here's the difference between y'all and real like you here's the difference between YouTube and reality TV. There is not a camera following you around from room to room. There's not cameras in the corners of every room. There's not you don't have a mic on you 24/7 for years or months. Like there's times when you can have your privacy. You judge what you show you, it's up to you about what you show, about what you put out online. Because you press that record button, you take that video to your computer and you edit it. It's about you. Because on reality TV, you're being followed. Like, no matter what, 
yes, everything's going to be chopped and edited, but some of the stuff that you do and say is going to be shown because that's what reality TV is. We want the reality of the people that we're watching. But for YouTubers, YouTube isn't a reality show. Yes, you can do vlogs and everything like that, but it's still cut and edited. You're still taking out things that you don't want people to see. And to me, for you to go into a counseling room with your girlfriend or your fiance and film that, to me, it was, I feel like it was set up and I could never do that. If I had real, rela if I was to ever be in a relationship and I brought them onto YouTube and we did videos together, like reaction videos, vlogs, what cooking videos, I don't fucking know, whatever kind of type of videos that we do on my channel, I, if we had problems, we wouldn't press record and sit down and talk about our problems. That's just how I feel, and I get that they felt like it's uh, YouTube is like their family. Everybody who watches them is like family, but you couldn't pay me enough money to deal with my relationship in front of a camera for money. Like I feel like that stuff needs to be dealt with behind closed doors. That's your relationship. That is what. That's I don't know. Like that's like your relationship and. The stuff that I've been through in relationships, I could never turn on a camera and do that shit because it's hard to go back and watch, especially for me. I know what I've been through with my last relationship. I could never sit back and like rewatch that stuff because even just re like thinking it and remembering it is hard enough, let alone watching it play out all over again. I couldn't do it. Now, this video has become like, the, like, and I'm not trying to make this video long and strung out, but I just wanted to get other people's thoughts and feelings on DNB Nation because I feel like they're playing the YouTube community. I feel like they're doing this all for money, basically. YouTube used to be something that they love to do, I feel. I really do. But when it comes about money, you don't enjoy doing it to where you'll do stuff like this. And now the supposed hacker has deleted all of their videos. All of them. Best believe if somebody was to delete all my videos if I had all the ones like they did, we scrapping, like we fighting, and I can't even fight, but we will do it because that's my time, my energy, and like something that I took time to do, and it's my hard work that you just deleted. So, clearly something is going on behind the scenes with Damien, Bianca, management, whatever, but like, I really think that their management though is doing a good job because I think with all this bullshit drama going on, they've gotten so many more subscribers, so many more views on the videos that, you know, used to be up and they're deleted now, but they've gotten so, like, they've gotten so much more like promotion and like, I mean, look at me, I'm sitting up here in front of a camera talking to y'all about them. And there's other YouTubers that have been doing it too. So we're all giving them free promotion, basically. So basically, their management team, I need them on my side. I need to call this girl and be like, hey, can y'all come manage me? Because y'all know what the fuck you're doing. Like, you getting them coins for Damien and Bianca. Now get me them coins. I need them. But basically, guys, long story short on my opinion of this is I really think that they are taking it way too far. It's become drawn out. It's over dramatic, And everybody is putting two and two together that this is fucking fake. And I don't know if, like, they really just wanted to end their YouTube career and this is the way that they're doing it. Which, to me, that's fake and phony and that's bullshit. Y'all should sit up on that camera like real-ass people and said... We want to take a break or we're done doing this, blah, 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 blah. I just feel like they should have been real ass people and just decided to tell their subscribers what they were doing instead of making a soap opera out of it. But so if this is a way of ending their YouTube career or whatever, I'm over it. I'm sick of it. And I feel like it's wrong. I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it's just like, who, like what possessed y'all to do this? Was it money? Was it? Like, y'all wanted more subscribers or more views. Like, I just don't, I really just don't get it. And to me, they honestly lost a subscriber from me and somebody who viewed their videos because I don't think I will ever view them again. Because if they do try to come back from all of this, it's going to be very hard. Because, I mean, they still got people that support them. Don't get me wrong, they do. But there's also people who, like myself, were loyal subscribers and loyal viewers who don't give a fuck anymore and don't really give a shit because of the games that they've been playing. But I just want to give my opinion because I, I enjoy doing YouTube. The videos that I make, I enjoy doing. 
and hopefully, you know, in like a few years, I have the 2 million subscribers that Damon and Bianca have. That'd be amazing. So, and I could never see myself sitting up here and doing what they're doing to all of their viewers and all of their subscribers. I just feel like what they're doing is a joke. I feel like what they're doing is wrong and it's drawn out and I'm kind of over it. The soap opera of DMB needs canceled YouTube. You just need to take their channel down and call it a fucking day. If you guys agreed with anything that I had to say in this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if this was your first time checking out my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I like to do reaction videos and just a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And follow me on all of my social media down below. And if you want to follow me on Snapchat, because I'm big on Snapchat, my snap code will be right here. Pause this video, screenshot it, and go and add me on Snapchat. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys next time.